too far down, because you'll have to walk back up a bit. Alright, if everyone can please make your way back up. There's something I would like to show you. Here you go. Right here, maybe. So what if you're not flush there instead? That's awesome. Um, there's a drill bit left over from when we were uh, making our man-made entrance. And um both of my flashlights are good. That's awesome. <laughs> that one? No, right here. Yeah. Is it right there? <laughs> Is it that thing right there? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, the that's open. Open. Yeah. Oh, that the open. Yeah. yeah. So um it got stuck in between the two different layers of limestone that you guys can see. Mm -hmm. The top layer is what we call St. Genevieve limestone. It's the uh redder stone above on the top layer. Um, it is what makes up the ceiling of most of the cave. It's a really hard and strong limestone. And the limestone below it, the really um, gray, but kind of like rocky looking limestone, is what we call St. Louis limestone. It's made up mostly of shale, so it's not as strong as St. Genevieve limestone. Hmm. Yeah, and if you guys could please follow me. right here. Can anybody tell me what they think those formations are? Yeah? Stalagmites? Yes, they are stalagmites. They're on the ground, hence the stalag, and they might reach the ceiling. And the ones on the ceiling, what can anybody tell me what those ones are? Yeah? Stalactites? Yes, stalactites. They're on the ceiling, and they hold tightly to the ceiling. And then over here, we have what we call cave bacon. We call it cave bacon because the iron, which makes up the red layers, and calcite, which is the white layers, kind of make it look like bacon. Other caves may call it um, cave drapery or cave curtains. We've made our way to our first set of spiral stairs. Um, so once, we, if, once we've begun making our way down the stairs, can everybody please stick to the left side? We want to stay on the widest part of the steps. Yes, anywhere in the cave except for the boat 
Stewart. Um, a blue light indicates that there's a passageway or a corner of interest that somewhere else is the cave. That blue light down there indicates that there's a passageway that leads to our glowing whole portion of the cave. Alright, so the water that is dripping on you guys is what we call cave kisses. They're supposedly really lucky. And a cave kiss from our cave dolphin, which is the one up there, right above your head. Her name was her name was Daphne the dolphin, and supposedly a cave kiss from her is really lucky. And then up here at that are those two lights over there. We have our uh, another example of our cave sea lion. We have our cave squid and our cave jellyfish. Mm. And then down here, to your guys' left, you see that red piece of cake? Yeah. Beside that red piece of cake, there is the um, total skeleton oh, of an ice age bison. Yeah, between the skin and the bison. Um, it is complete except for his skull, which sadly was crushed by the weight of a formation that is begun to form on top of it. Um, fun fact, he scientifically named an unsafe bison. It's bison, bison, and atheist. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. So that was our ice cave entrance. That is where all of the animals that we're going to be talking about, that's where they came in. It closed about 10,000 years ago, which is why we don't use it. But all of the animals, they made their way through that entrance and down this very steep breakdown. And most of them couldn't get back up. So that's why we can talk about them today. If you guys would please continue to follow me. We're coming up on what we call Petri Plunge. We call it Petri Plunge because of the steep breakdown and because there are a lot of bones down here, most of which are from what we call a flat-headed Petri. If you guys look at this bottom um, part, yeah, there's a flat-headed Petri skull. A flat-headed peccary is essentially a boar-like animal that is extinct today. And then the, there is a skull on the upper layer of this like two-layer thing. Um, is what this that small skull up there is what we call a fissure. A fissure is essentially a really woolly weasel that still exists today. It just migrated up north. And if everybody could kind of filter down to the next platform so that everyone will get a chance to see the bones. We skull on this bottom layer is what we call the bottom. And then the skull up here is the fissure. A fissure is essentially a really woolly piece. Mm 
Oh, yeah. All right, so they would have any questions about the skulls. All right, if I could please make my way to the front of the tour. All right, so we're gonna have to be careful on this set of spiral stairs because there's a low ceiling right here and there's also a bar right here. There is a pool noodle covering that bar, but again, it is a metal bar, so let's not hit our heads on it. Um, we're gonna wanna stick to the right side of these stairs because again, we wanna stay on the widest part of the stairs. Yeah. Okay, once you stick your feet over. Get past. There we go. Hang over to the bars. So this is. Can you guys see? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. All right, there is another tour coming up. So, what time is the tour on? Maybe I just remember your flashlight, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, I'm going to have you guys stick to this way and let them come down here. So you guys just really stick to one side of the railing. Alright, there is a low ceiling here, so please watch your heads. And then kind of stay beside them, but go, sorry, side them. Side them. Side them. go past them so that everyone can get down these stairs. for a geology, geology degree or that it was for a paleontology degree. So I don't know which one it actually is. But um, she had started over here in the dark, but obviously because it's in the dark, she didn't find anything. And then she made her way over here and she found flat-headed peccary toe bones and teeth. I see them over there. And, yep. Yeah. No. Yeah, those are here. Yeah, and then those are toe bones. Yeah. And then you can see the tools she used. She had to use really soft tools because even though these bones are still fossils because they're over 10,000 years old, they're the consistency of a wet graham cracker. So she didn't really want to damage the bones. Then she made her way over here and she found more flat-headed peccary forearm bones and rib bones. She also found another flat-headed peccary skull. She didn't know that was behind her and she leaned back to get up and she crushed the back of it with the palm of her hand. And then over here, we have flat-headed peccary hoof prints right here. They look like deer hoof deer prints. Um, you can see them better without the flashlight, but um, the flat-headed peccary hoof prints being over here in the really soft mud is another reason why we ask people not to touch the mud. Because there are only two places in the U.S. with flat-headed peccary hoof prints. Us being one of them, and the other one is a private institution in Missouri, I'm pretty sure. But um, up here, we have little wallows dug into the mud. So what we think happened was an entire herd of flat-headed peccary had made their way down the breakdown but they couldn't get back up. So they tried to dig their way up, but because St. Genevieve limestone is such a hard layer of limestone, they couldn't dig their way out. And now we have their bones. If I could please make my way to the front of the tour. Excuse me. All right, there is a low ceiling here. So if everybody could please watch their heads. We're coming up on what we call Turkwall Alley. Um, Turkwall Alley has another really low ceiling, so if you're taller than 5'4", you're going to have to duck. Yay, 
I am I am exactly five feet.
dark, they have an overdeveloped sense of smell so that they can find their way in and out of a cage without having to see because it would have been completely dark. We have now entered what we call Thunder Alley. We call it Thunder Alley because if you jump or stomp, it sounds like thunder. But I suggest against doing that unless you're a small child because we have now reached the shortest part of our cave with the, high, um, the lowest point of the ceiling being only about four feet off the ground. <laughs> so could everybody please watch their heads? We want cave kisses, not cave concussion. Are you sure we're balanced out? <laughs> hmm, you might go over there and sit next to the I don't think it's going to make that much difference. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mom just said, hold on to it in case you fall overboard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sitting on it. Personally. Yeah. There are two turnarounds. I suck at turning around, especially in the boat. Um, That's encouraging. Uh, I haven't heard anybody yet, so there are low ceilings, so if you guys can please watch your heads. Some of them are only going to be on one side, so I might not be able to point them out. There is a little ledge here. Oh, crap! What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Oh, oh yeah. That's you, yeah. major. Oh yeah, what's the ceiling? You might fall down, Mom. Yeah, I'm already down, thanks. Mm -hmm. you're, you're way below, you're all Then right. you're going to have to dump for that part, Dan. There is a low ceiling coming up. Um, does anyone have any questions? That looks pretty neat. It is. Is that going to have to fall? Wow. Uh, huh? I'm going to have to That's pretty neat. It's not. Um, here, it's only going to be about three to four feet. Um, but at the dam, it's about four to five feet. So if you're drowning, you just stand up. Good point. Except Keith, we'll jump in here again. The water's about 52 degrees. Yeah. Well, if he falls in, we're going. Oh, that's warm. Yeah. All right, turn around here. Turn around here.
deep is this? Uh, it's about four to three to four feet deep. Um, since we're to our first turn around, I'm going to tell you guys now. I'm aiming for a pile of rocks. Yeah, but it's pretty. Uh, the green light just tells us that there's a continuation of this passage that we can't go in because there was a uh, change in ownership and we're mm -hmm. above us. We're bumping the rocks. Um, and they did not give us permission to uh, go past that point. What do you mean it belongs to somebody else? What yep. is that boat right there? That is our spare boat for Miss Dolly. Oh. Going back? We are turning around. Is that a is that a private yeah. place over there? Um, this entire this is a privately owned. Uh, we're hitting the rocks again. Yeah. Um, this is again Cabin is privately owned. It's not run by the state. No. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to answer that question. Um. Were the caves always this silent? <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. This is something. Okay, there's no one in the cave. There's no one in the cave. Yeah. There's no dinosaurs. How could a dinosaur be there? There were no dinosaurs in our caves. It's upsetting. That was supposed to be there. Some of them did. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Boots Underground. And it smells like mud. <laughs> Total darkness. Mm. Yep. Telling you guys now. Oh wow. Oh. Yep. See. And when do we know when to duck? <laughs> um, hopefully we shouldn't be drifting that close, but I, I need a light. <laughs> I'm just gonna get my hand up, I'm not trying to get too close. I can't see. We need a I can't even see the paint. Yeah, it's neat, isn't it? It's very awesome. Yeah. Crawfish things, don't we, guys? Yep, I can't see. It's okay. Oh. What do the adults think of total darkness? Not me. Not do you adult. know where you're going? Oh, we turn out the lights on before <laughs> I can see. Okay. This one is mine. Okay. <laughs> We've never been in a place that dark before, have you? Turn off the lights. I take it you guys didn't like total darkness. <laughs> well, I don't care if you turn off the lights, right? <laughs> I like it. Pretty dark. We have to be in dark. For real? We have to be in dark. Hmm? Do we have to be in dark? No. That was just scribbling in the small part.
And did they have to uh, chisel some of this out in order to put the air in? Nope. Oh, okay. It's You guys have to pump air into here? Nope. You don't? Yep. There's this natural ventilator. That's naturally ventilated. Oh, wow. I wonder if there's nothing growing down here. You know, I'm surprised there's oxygen that much, you know. Um, there's nothing growing down here because there's no sunlight. Yeah.
You now have to go back up all of the steps you just went down. <laughs> yeah. The first set of stairs that we're coming up on is the weird spiral staircase with a low ceiling. You're going to want to stick to your left because that's where the widest part of the step is. with many names. Just telling you guys now so that you know to watch your heads.
Crane wind's not playing anymore. The rain's let up. Do you guys want to take your pictures? Sure. All right. We're going to be making our way up this to this platform because the crying man will stop crying momentarily. The high wind ties blind, blue my line. Yeah. Uh, once everybody's up here, I'll be turning on some really bright lights. 